Hi, in this video you will get six hip opening yoga exercises. Get your body stretches for flexibility. Lie on your back, stretch out your legs, stretch out your arms and feel the heaviness of your body against the ground. If you like my content, then click the like button. Also subscribe to the channel and share this video with one or two people. Notice the back of your head against the ground, the shoulder blades, your arms in contact with the ground. Notice the buttocks muscles softening and the right leg and the left leg. And at this point, notice the breath. We try to breathe through the nose, in and out. With your inhalation, your belly bulges. And with your exhalation, your belly softens. With the next exhalation, bend the knees. Pull the heels as close to the buttocks as you comfortably can. Make sure that your knees are in a pain-free range. Press the soles of your feet against each other and separate your legs. Your right knee points to the right and the left knee points to the left. Your palms are facing up. Lengthen the back of the neck. Tuck the chin under and let your forehead soften and spread. Return to your breath. Let the corners of the nostrils soften and spread. And then slowly bend your elbows Rest your elbows to both sides of your body. Really tuck them in, your fingers pointing up so you have a rectangular shape at the arms and then lift the buttocks off the ground. Breathing into this, lengthen the back of the neck and notice that great opening. Slowly undo. Move the legs back together. Lift your arms overhead and lift the buttocks off the ground again. Here, pin down the big toes to the ground. With your exhalation, round the back, vertebra by vertebra, until the buttocks touches the ground last and then lift your feet off the ground and hug the knees into the chest. Dismantle the pose again. Opening up your legs again. Right knee pointing to the right, left knee to the left. Let's do this again. So tuck the elbows under, lift the buttocks off the ground. Keep a smile on the lips. Fantastic. And with your exhalation, slowly dismantle the pose. Lift your arms overhead again and lift the buttocks off the ground. Pin down the big toes, really into the ground. And with your exhalation, lower the back to the ground and hug the knees into the chest. Hmm. Lift your arms overhead again, drop the feet on the ground soles of your feet in contact with the ground and lift the buttocks off the ground. Your palms are facing up. Pin down the big toes into the ground and with your exhalation, rounding the back and hugging the knees into the chest. Great job. Slowly undo. Open up the legs again, right knee pointing to the right, left knee to the left. Your palms are facing up towards the ceiling. Return to the sensation of the breath. 
and then get your arms into the rectangular shape again lift the buttocks off the ground fantastic and with your exhalation lower the buttocks again to the ground move the thighs back together and hug the knees into the chest this time around Rest the palms on the knee and with your exhalation, you lower the feet to the ground. And as you inhale, move them back up. Make sure that you try to scoop the belly in at all times as you do this. Your palms just slide up and down the thighs. But your lower abdomen is absolutely active. Exhalation, lowering your feet towards the ground and inhalation, slowly moving them back up. Fantastic. Notice your palms caressing your body and the breath moving regularly in and out. Keep a smile on the lips. Breathe regularly and then drop the feet on the ground. Take your arms backwards again. Lift the buttocks off the ground. Pin down the big toes into the ground. As you exhale, dismantle the poles again. Relax your arms on the ground and then with your exhalation, pull the left knee into the chest. And extend the right leg. Activate your right leg. Pull the toes of your right foot towards the knee. And then you take your right hand to the left knee and move your left leg across towards the right shoulder. If your neck feels okay, you can turn your head to the left side, so the opposite side. Keep activating your right leg. And then with your exhalation, pull the knee with both hands to the chest. And then with your exhalation, move your left knee away from the midline towards the left side and then back to the center. Interlock the fingers behind the left thigh, pull the left knee into the chest, extend your left leg up towards the ceiling, lengthen the back of the neck, and then with your exhalation, gently undo, stretch out the left leg and take your arms overhead. And as you exhale, hug the right knee into the chest. Take your left hand to the right knee and move that left knee across the body towards the left shoulder. You can turn your head to the right side into the opposite direction. Breathe here and then switch hands. Move your right knee away from the midline to the right side and turn your head to the left side, but only if your neck likes that sensation. Interlock the fingers behind the right thigh and then extend your right heel up towards the ceiling. Lengthen the back of the neck. You keep pulling the right knee into the chest and then slowly undo. Extend the right leg. Take your arms overhead as you inhale. Fantastic. And then with your exhalation, drop your arms to both sides of the body. Turn the palms up. And if you want to get to know more about my 100-day transformation program, visit me at thebodyconditioner.com or send me an email at thebodyconditioner at gmail.com. Five-minute yoga sequences every single day straight to your phone. Stay blessed. <laughs>